My dear fellow listeners and viewers, today I would like to share with you some dirty tricks you can easily experience at any workplace. So take, for example, let's say you are starting a new job and you know you're you know you were introduced to the person who will be training you you were introduced to the supervisor they kind of tour you around you know give you a good tour of the place they talk about their safety and their procedure and all of those basic pieces um the trainer person usually supposed to give you like a very thorough training on the job so that you are able to kind of function and on your own as an individual, that's the whole purpose of the training and so on. But believe what I'm saying here, most places will not teach you everything you need to know. The reason for that is because many people are worrying for their own job. They, you know, sometimes they feel threatened that there's somebody new is coming in. I actually have experienced that before. Because, I mean, for those of you who know me, I'm very much passionate about, you know, um, what I do and, and whatever I, you know, um, decide to do and whatever job I accept, I always give it my all. I always, you know, hammer things along, um, you know, in my job roles over the years. And there are many of you that way. And so what people will do, they're just going to show you one or two basic things and so on. And they're not going to show you, the, you, know, um, you know, some important pieces because the thing is, they do not want to let themselves look bad. And these are things you need to know um, because it will happen. Nobody, very rarely, I mean, you still will have a few people. I mean, I will openly share, you know, um, things to people, uh, everything I know, you know, and I know there are a few people who will do that. But in most cases, people will not show you all the details. They're just going to show you one or two basic. And in fact, if you mess up on the job, they're okay with that too. Because it is not uncommon, I'm sure most of you probably have experienced this, when something goes wrong at the workplace, in most cases, the new person will get the blame. If, if it's not a new person, it has to be, you know, usually the student or the volunteers, <laughs> right? So another thing to keep in mind, an extra note there. So when you start a new job, you want to basically, um, you know, ask a lot of questions. Be mindful though that it can be overwhelming, you know, um, for the person who's trained you on the job, right? It's uh, not everybody has the patience, you know, to train somebody else. They themselves probably might be going through some challenging personal time and to come to work and put up, you know, um, a new face, a new attitude probably can be a challenge for them. So you have to be mindful of that. But the main thing to keep in mind is that when you start a new job, be expected that you will have to learn a lot, a lot of things on your own. No question about that. And um, you will left on your own to do, you know, a um, lot of the pieces, you know, um, something you may have to bring work at home. You may have to, you know, spend some extra time, um, you know, just to understand what is it that they're showing you, telling you what to do. It will obviously seems overwhelming at first, but keep in mind that nobody's going to show you everything that you really have to push to learn on your own. Um, most of the things in, in, in some cases, because it is set up that way um, for whatever the reason is, but also, and make it even worse. If you are, you know, if you end up accepting a job, you know, at a small company, they, prob they don't even have trainer to begin with. They just shove you in there. That's one of the reasons why most of the job posting will say, you know, um, are, are, will ask you, are you a self-starter? So basically what they're saying to you is that they want you to go there and just do the job. That's what they want. <laughs> just take it and run with it. And that can be a problem. You know, some people can actually go in there and do that, but that's a sign that the organization, the company's clueless. And so that's a red flag there. So you want to keep, you know, an eye, you know, on all of those things. Uh, but do know, um, anytime you start a job, does not matter what kind of job you're starting, you know, whether that be a factory manufacturing, manufacturing kind of job, office related job, you know, any kind of job, nobody will show you everything. And um, because sometimes, um, and the reason for that too, there are many reasons why they will, but uh, apart from them not wanting you to do better than them, they actually are doing double roles. So what that means is that they have to do their own portion of the work. 
and then they also have to train you so they just will do a quick thing and kind of leave you on your own there so there's a lot of pressure when you start a new job especially these days these modernized time because things are very competitive and so um it is important you know if you're very much passionate and wanting to get into the workforce especially if you are a recent you know college or university graduate or you are just starting you know a new life um, or you know you're fairly young and you just know is your you know first time kind of experiencing getting into you know the workforce especially if it's a professional kind of job that you want do know you will have to put lots of extra work things have changed now because if you don't like it if you're not able to function and do the job well they meaning the company can easily find somebody else so be prepared for that so for those of you who are watching do know that when you enter a job and, and, and not necessarily um, a new company it could be you moving from one role to the next is the same thing people wouldn't want you to see you succeed very very normal thing it happens all the time if you haven't experienced all of this as of yet do know it's coming or maybe it already happened and you did not even realize that so i hope you get something out of this video do know that when you start a new job um you know, um, the chances of people showing you everything on the job is very slim. In fact, some employers, they don't even have a job description. And the ones that do have a job description, they will have multiple um, you know, roles all combined in one. So they're expecting you to do a thousand things. Um, you know, that's how it is sometimes, right? So keep in mind. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. My name is Narendra Sukran. Wishing you a great today and even better tomorrow. Talk to you soon.